the tactical community, one company rose from obscurity to dominate the tactical space. Today we unravel the enigma behind GBRS Group and its rise, as well as addressing the elephant in the room, the sudden departure of one of the founders, Slade Raider. On September 6, 2019, GBS Group was created. From the very beginning, they were different, paving their own way like no other in the tactical world. Never before have you had dev group operators step into the limelight and share their expert knowledge and strategic insights to the world completely free of charge. It was a paradigm shift that left everyone in shock and wanting more. During the early era, the concept possessed a cultivating allure, characterized by its coolness and simplicity. The videos included a visual beauty constantly centered around CQB scenarios, which they're most known for, using cinematic music curated in collaboration with the help of Forward Observations Group. These captivating content creations were intentionally kept, enhancing the sense of anticipation and evoking the intense desire for more. The group members themselves were highly fascinating, bringing forth an intriguing dynamic. They wore skater shoes and skinny jeans, with DJ in particular having a built physique and his face blurred, adding mystery and a secretive element both to himself and the brand. Cole, on the other hand, embodied a relaxed and easygoing vibe. Slade, despite defying the stereotypical physique associated with a Navy SEAL, possessed a slender frame covered with numerous tattoos. It was these distinctive qualities that helped GBRS Group travel to rapid growth and garner a substantial and devoted following. At some point in 2021, a noticeable shift occurred in the style of the videos, changing significantly from what viewers had grown accustomed to. As a result, fans started to quickly realize the absence of Slade in videos sparking curiosity and prompting fans to speculate the reasons behind his sudden disappearance. The situation left many wondering what precisely was transpiring within the group. Eventually, the events unfolding behind the scenes in the unsuring drama took center stage, making waves across the supporters' Instagram feeds. It appeared that there were undisclosed occurrences transpiring privately, but what seemed to be the end all of Slade's decision to depart from the group stemmed from the alleged art situation called the Aloha Collection, which had been curated by Slade's own daughter exclusively for his use. Supposedly, the remaining members of GBS Group, without Slade's knowledge, took possession of the artwork and proceeded to create merchandise, generating profits without Slade or his daughter's consent. In response, GBS Group released a statement providing evidence of their material purchases and asserting that they never officially launched the collection. This leads to question, was the art originally intended for a GBS Group launch, but there was a change of mind after the products were already made, or did the rest of GBRS have prior knowledge of the situation and considered it unimportant from the start? In addition to this accusation from Slade, GBRS Group came out with this following statement. In addition to that statement, GBRS Group also had this to say. The last statement appears somewhat contradictory and feels like a reach. It is worth acknowledging that DJ, as a fellow founder, embarked on his own entrepreneurial journey by establishing his skateboarding company, Tribe Skates, while still being actively involved with GBS Group, much like Slade. In the mix of Slade's departure, a series of posts were shared by him, and I encourage you to read them for yourself. Furthermore, GBS Group claims that Slade not only departed illegally from the company, but also allegedly stole and currently possesses equipment that was originally purchased by GBS Group worth $50,000. GBRS Group would then put out another statement as well. One of the most craziest aspects of this whole situation is the portrayal of Slade as a potential threat. As if he possesses a criminal danger to the employees and engages in acts of threatening people. Calling law enforcement is definitely a reach in my opinion. Davis McMillan, the general manager of GBRS Group, 
issued a statement providing insights into his personal experiences with Slade. Here is another statement from another GBRS Group employee. To wrap up currently, it is uncertain whether the claims made by GBS Group about Slade are indeed factual or if they are just a string of accusations influenced by a toxic mentality prevalent among team guys. As mentioned earlier, there is a lack of solid, undeniable evidence to determine who is right or wrong. I do have a text conversation over Instagram DM that I did have with Cole from GBS Group back in 2021 and I screenshotted the messages for you guys could see them. It is important to note that this video does not take a pro GBRS group or pro Slade stance. I invite you to share your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below. And I know my voice and the video quality is very much ass. I really know. You guys don't have to spam it in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.